Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you've seen by the title, we are looking at the Durham Organics products. I got these in my April Curl Kit. It was a Durham Organics takeover. And of course I mentioned that I was gonna review them like duh, like I do every time they do a takeover. I've used those damn products and I do a review because that's just what I like to do, right? So first I wanna try to give y'all some little close-ups of my hair because I just used these products last night. And this is my second wash day using them. I used them last week too, when I first got the products. And um, so far, I have been liking these products. And I've noticed that they give my hair volume. I don't normally see this much volume on day two. So for me to get this type of volume on day two, I'm just like, baby, baby, honey child, let me tell you. Anyway, jumping into the review. So starting out with the Low Lathers Shampoo Curl Cleanser. Shampoo, it is sulfate free and um, color save, which I'm happy about. So these products claim to be 70 to 75% organic, um, gluten free, paraben free, sulfate free, salt free, all that, you know, bad shit free. That's what it's supposed to be, right? So, um, Jumping into what I think about this shampoo, I am a shampoo girl. So if you are a shampoo girl who enjoys high lather shampoos, like you enjoy the lather, this ain't gonna be the shampoo for you because it is a low lather shampoo. It lathers lowly as if your hair is dirty as hell and just not coming clean. That's what this shampoo does, but it does clean your hair. It does leave your hair feeling a little stripped. Um, but for me, I don't mind. If a shampoo leaves my hair feeling stripped, as long as the conditioner that I put behind it replaces the moisture back into my hair because my wash and goes perform its best on clean hair. And so, um, yeah. This shampoo is kind of, it's a creamy consistency. Let's see if you guys can, yeah. So yeah, this is the shampoo consistency of this shampoo. That is creamy as hell, right, for a shampoo. So it's like creamy. Um, it applies well though. It lathers lowly, like it says, and it cleans your hair. I wash my hair two times, you know, per you know the time that I washed it twice, and it did fine. Um, it didn't make my hair dry out and tangle, which some shampoos that strip my hair have done in the past. So that's good. That was a very big plus for me. I really appreciated that. Um, I don't know if this will be like a holy grail shampoo that I will buy again. I probably will use it up, but it's. It's not, it didn't wow me to the point where it wanted like to to replace my Jamaican black castor oil. So, it's nice though. Um, it's nice and it works well with the other products that are in the line that they gave me. So, that's good. Moving on to the Curl Conditioner Ultra Moisturizing Conditioner for Curly Hair. Um, it said it's 77% total organic content in this. And it claims to seal in moisture, rinse, tangles out, and discover smooth hair with manageable curls, increases hair moisture levels, and tighten curls that spring and bounce, enhance curl definition and density for easier styling and diffusion, frizz control with organic in Morocco, and tame flyaways hair and prevents curly hair styles from fuzzing out, and um, other things of that nature. Um, this conditioner was nice. It is a um, kind of loose consistency, but still creamy, if you guys can see that. Um, I like the way it applies. It applies nicely. It um, does reapply the moisture in my hair from the shampoo nicely. It has an okay slip. Now, I was able to finger detangle with this, but I have come across products that were easier to detangle with. So... It was just okay for detangling with me, but it wasn't bad either. It was it was decent. I could definitely say that. Um, moving on into the Curl Cream, which is my favorite product out of all of the products. This one in the gel. Um, it says separate and define for bounce and shine. This stuff is good. It applies nicely. My hair likes it. It soaks up in my hair nicely. Um, it keeps my hair moisturized nicely. The last wash and go that I did, the first wash and go I did with these products last week, I got five days out of it before I had to put it in a bun 
I wore it literally from Sunday to Thursday and then on Friday at work I put it in a bun that was the first time I had to put new products in my hair so the stuff is holding it like it really holds more holds moisture in my hair which it just blows the shit out of me because that's excellent for me I have high porosity hair so that is so excellent to not have to go back in and refresh my wash and go at all for five straight days literally all I did was take my pineapple down and refresh my hair pick it out and boom I was done so I really do enjoy this. I'm so happy that I have the full size of this in my stash from a previous curl kit a couple months ago. I just haven't used it yet. So thank you, Jesus, for that. <laughs> and I'm so glad I didn't give it away. Um, and then the last thing is the Super Curling Gel. It says Shape, Shine, and Control for Curls, alcohol-free. I do like this gel. It is a nice consistency. It glides across the hair really well. It smooths the hair really well and um, defines my curls really well. Like guys and it's soft like it does not leave a cast it does not leave a cast and i love that um it says styling gel designed for curly hair sculpt shape moiled or scrunch adds volume and thickness and i can attest to that because my second day hair guys never is it this much volume and thickness and my hair it i have like medium to thin density hair so normally you can see through my curls still on second day hair but you can't really see through my curls down here that that you can't really you can't see through so that's good um and then it says natural shine with weightless feel, alcohol free, humidity resistance, um, will not build up or flake off. And I can say I have not experienced any flakes or build up with this. I like this. Out of every out of the products that I talked about, the gel, the cream, the styler, and the gel are my favorite too. Um, I already have a full size of this. I probably will pick up a full size of this because I do like this gel. Really do. I really like this gel um, because my hair, like I said, guys, this is second day hair for me and this is big. Like this is kind of some big hair for second day for Ariel. Um, I hate the shape of my hair right now and I should have freaking parted my part that way. I'm trying to let my layers grow out and ever since I cut my bang last year, it just is a hell turd. Even though it's like, look at how much, I mean, it's pretty long, but it just... It shrinks up really bad and it creates this awkward height up in here that I don't like. I'm going to get my hair reshaped eventually. I don't know when though. <laughs> but anyways, guys, just want you guys to see it some more. So you can, you know, make your little decisions on if you guys got your curl kits. Of course, try it. Duh. For you who, who didn't get in the curl kit, if, um, if you want to try it. Please do. I would definitely recommend if your hair is like mine's or similar to mine's, definitely try that damn gel cream and and um the gel and the cream. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it together. Definitely get the styler, definitely try the gel. Anyways, per usual, please like, comment, or subscribe and subscribe or <laughs> and subscribe. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you guys think of these products. If you've used them, how they work for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Peace.